Hi, and thanks for joining us on Away From It All TV. I'm Roland Yarborough, and I'm excited to teach you something today that's going to help you catch more fish. You know, when you set the hook on a big fish, whether it's a bass, a saltwater fish, a trout, and you feel that rod bend all the way into the handle, the last thing you want is for that knot to fail. What you want is to land that fish, put him in the net, put him in the boat, and put a smile on your face. I'm gonna teach you today a knot that fishermen all across the country are trusting and loving because it's easy to tie, it's super strong, and it'll guarantee you to boat more fish. I'm talking about the Palomar knot. Here's how you tie it. All right, to tie the Palomar knot, you take the tag end of your line and you run it through the eye of your hook, just like that. Pull out a generous section and run the tag end right back through the eye of your hook, just like that. So basically, what you have is a loop of line run through the eye of your hook. All right, you're gonna take this loop section right here and you're just gonna tie an overhand knot. right above the hook, just like that. And remember, the longer the hook, the longer the lure, the longer this loop needs to be. So basically what you have is you have an overhand knot with a loop hanging. Now what you want to do is hold all this with your hand and you want to run the loop over the hook or the lure and pull the loop up behind the hook eye, just like that. Now you want to begin to snug it down, but don't tighten it yet. Here's an important tip. Moisten monofilament line before you tighten it. The reason you do that, when you pull this knot tight and seat it, it generates heat, and heat will weaken your line. So now that it's moistened, you take the tag end, and you take the main line, and you pull both snug and seat the knot. Then you pull each one individually, the tag and the main line. Then you give them one final tug. You take some snips that I always keep on me while I'm fishing. You come up close. And there you have the Palomar knot. And that knot will not fail. All right, as a bonus today, I'm gonna to show you how I snell a hook. It's one of the strongest connections between line and a hook. But there's one thing you need to know about it. Make sure it's legal to use when and where you're fishing because I have been in places where it was not legal to use a snelled hook. And the way I do it requires no accessories, just line, hook, and hands. Here we go. All right, the way I snell a hook is this. I pass the line through the eye of the hook, pull it down, and make myself a nice little loop like that. And then I pinch the loop up close to the eye and I start making wraps. And you want to make them tight, you want to pinch every one because each wrap is going away from the hook eye in this direction. And what you want to do is pinch those as you go. It's not easy to do this, so you have to really force the line to do what you want it to do. But once you get a first couple of them working, then it'll work for you and you just keep going until you get seven or eight loops back toward the bend in the hook away from the eye of the hook, just like you see me doing here. All right now, when you get close to the end, you pinch the tag and you've got your loop. You wanna run the loop over the tag, tag like that and you want to pull the, the tag through the loop. You want to hold all that and you want to seat the knot up toward the hook eye. Now what you want to do is pull the tag and the main line together, moisten, and you want to seat that knot Pull it up, just like that. OK, 
okay? And when you moisten it, it lubricates that line and makes it seat in nice, tight circles and wraps just like that. And then you want to take your snips. You want to cut it very close. And that is a snelled hook. One of the strongest line to hook connections you can possibly have. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this brief tutorial on how to tie the Palomar knot and how to snell a hook. Thanks for joining us on Away From It All TV. Hey, hit the like button, share the video, and please subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. Hey, get out there. Take somebody with you. Get away from it all, where dreams are restored in the great outdoors. because it's so strong, it's so fantastic, it's Uber, so good, Greg. Uber, ah, it's really wonderful. Hi, and thanks for joining us on Away From It All TV. I'm Roland Yarborough, and I'm excited today. Uh, <clears throat> this is really wearing my arm, arms out. And it will not fail. I'm gonna, I'm, this is one of the strongest ways you can attach your fishing line to your hook. Dad, you gotta look at the people. Okay, you're, I thought you're, I'm you're thinking staring at up. that thing. Okay. <laughs> and I actually like to pull the tag end just to make sure, which I didn't do, so I have to start over. And each wrap is going to move away from the eye of the hook toward the bend of the hook. And why can't I do that?